This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Ted and Marion Outerbridge back here on FYI. The first time you were here, do you remember you were here and there was a class trip from St. Marguerite Bourgeois School and you were able to do magic tricks in French for them? Je me souviens. Oui, c'était uh, uh, du fun. Wait. Yes, you yes, it was a lot of fun. Well. That was great. That yeah. was great. It was yeah. great fun. And, yeah, I think we I have, have a trick for you today. Oh, you have a trick for me today too? Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, are we going to do it now, or do you want to wait till we wrap up? Oh no, let's let me show this to you. It's okay. um, it's all about the old post office, the Fuller Post Office. Okay. Built in 1894, gorgeous building, restored by Bruce Linton. And at the top, there's a clock tower. Do you, do you, yes. you know what I'm talking about? Yes. So yep. um, this is a prediction of a specific time. And so I'm gonna invite you, just imagine you're looking at the Fuller Post Office, you're looking up at the clock tower. What hour does the clock tower show? One, two, three, any hour? 11. 11 and the clock chimes every 15 minutes so 11 11 15 11 30 11 45 which one would you like uh, 11 30 11 30 and i'll give you one chance to change your mind do you want to change your mind no i think i'm good <laughs> okay, great so i'm going to show you what i have in this little bag here they're they're cards they're unusual cards because um they have times on them and I'm running through them all. You can see all the different times here, but uh, you may have noticed that at the beginning here, one of these cards is upside down. It is not like the others. And what time did you choose again? 11.30. Wow. 11.30. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh. Thank you for not changing your mind. Yeah. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. That, that's amazing. Thank you for starting this off with a little magic trick. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, can we talk about one of your, your uh, videos on your TikTok? My goodness, you've got 3.9 million views on one of your TikTok videos. I'm responsible for a few of them. <laughs> yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you for sharing. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, on one point, it's like 3.9 million views. And, the, and on the other hand, it's like, wow, you found so much neat stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been finding interesting artifacts in this house as we're restoring it. And we were looking at the fireplace mantle. It was held onto the wall with two screws and I just couldn't resist. So we pulled the fireplace mantle off the wall and we found old photographs. We were able to identify John Briggs who lived here in the 30s uh, and he had served in World War I. And so we, we found his dental records from World War I and they told us he was missing a tooth and sure enough, this gentleman in the photograph was missing a tooth and his cap badge also corresponded with his unit in the army. So that was amazing. We found a Christmas card addressed to John Briggs and his family. Um, and we found eight old keys behind the mantle. And the first key, uh, which we picked up, well, I, I picked it up. It opened our bedroom door. So the original and, lock yes and then we tried all the other keys and only one other one of the eight keys worked so <laughs> it was pretty like amazing and we had yeah. ted's sister visiting um and when she held all the keys and we told her the story she dropped one by accident so we said well let's check out that key so we went upstairs and we checked out the key in the guest room and sure enough it opened the guest room door it was like wow what happened yeah. yeah. Wow. So these artifacts that we're finding, they're inspiring some new magic for our show. So this summer, we're going to have a new piece of magic in the show uh, based on the fact that this house, sometimes it wakes us up in the middle of the night. Uh, sometimes a pipe cracks or uh, one time we had a bat flying around in our bedroom in the middle of the night. So we woke up. So I won't give away the trick, but it's inspired by the house waking us up in the middle of the night. And this house that you found, like I've, I've lived here in Smith Falls my whole life. For, for over 60 years, I've driven past, past that house. But you have brought life to this house since you moved in. How long ago? Uh, yeah, three and three a half years. years. Yeah, oh, like, three mm -hmm. and a half. Yeah. November 30th. So and, we're, we're sitting in the dining room now. And the dining room is where uh, I peeled some canvas off the wall and 
found a, an opening that used to accommodate a stovepipe. And I reached into the, the hole and I pulled out a golf ball and it was, it had writing on it. Why not? It was 100 years old. And uh, that led me to discover that there used to be a golf course across the street where the Circle K uh, gas station is from there all the way over to Settlers Ridge. That was the Poonamalee golf course from 1899 until about 1930, a nine hole golf course. Wow. Now so. I knew Brooke and Brittany Henderson's uh, grandparents lived there, but I knew nothing about the golf course. Mm -hmm. right. I think that was news to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, Heritage House Museum was great. They helped us out. Lisa is awesome. So uh, she helped on our hunt for the Punamali golf course. And then I ended up getting calls from golf historians that hadn't heard this news. And uh, it was quite exciting. The uh, we, Golf Channel picked it even. Yeah, the yeah. Golf Channel in the United States. That's NBC. They picked up the story. All because we found a golf ball in Brooke Henderson's grandparents' house. So... <laughs> Thanks. And it's so intriguing what you're finding in this house. Because I mean, so often people, you know, buy a house, an older house, they renovate, and and maybe the the walls were lined with old newspapers or magazines, and that's probably maybe some pictures they'll find the odd pictures. But you you're, you're finding so much neat stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I guess my latest article in Hometown News is about Benjamin Byram, and he was a carpenter who was working on this house. He built this house in 1892, and I found his name on a note. And I tracked down his great granddaughter in Toronto, and she sent me photographs of Benjamin Byram, the carpenter who built the Keyhole House, where we live. Wow! Yeah. But, it, but I find it's amazing how this town all works together. Like Ted is like sending out a message, like searching for, and there's always someone that will pass it on and just knows the name or something. And we find relatives mm -hmm. that are like super kind to help us out to, to find more information about it all. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, once yeah. again, you know, I've lived here my whole life and, and to hear all these stories come alive again and, and to learn more about my town, it's, it's, it's inspirational. I, I so thank you for what you've done. I, again, 60 years I've lived here and you've been here three and a half and I've learned so much about my own town. But we absolutely well, love this town. Mm -hmm. So we're very fortunate, yeah. you know, we're very fortunate to have like made so many new friends and we, we just felt welcome from the first second we, mm -hmm. we like stopped in Smith Falls. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I like the story, Mary, and I think you told at one time uh, you were you were hooked on Smith Falls when a, a young uh, person yeah, called the that's door right. open. Well, it's actually Ted's story. Oh, <laughs> Ted's story? <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it's, our, our it's our story because we drove here from Montreal for the first time to look at four different houses and when we pulled up it was so neat like we of course stopped at Tim Hortons because you know you got to do your thing and grab another coffee early in the morning and it was a young teenage guy who held the door open for us we never met him we don't know where he where he is, where he's now, I don't know, but it, it just made such an impact that this young gentleman opened the door and said, you know, like we both were like, like amazed because we just said, thank you. And he was like, oh, you're welcome. And on the way out, the same procedure, like people were just holding doors open yeah. and where we're coming from, it just didn't happen that way. So, so wh wherever that teenage boy is, we have free tickets for him to our show <laughs> That's at right. the station here. <laughs> Because he was a nice guy and we're excited about being back there. So, uh, you know, I'm willing to bet he probably doesn't even know what he's done, but he's brought you no. to our town. I, I, I'm so appreciative of, of that person that did that for you. So, uh, you know, welcome to Smith Falls. You've done amazing things for us. But uh, let, let's talk about your show, too. You're, you're starting it up again this summer, July 1st. Yes. That's right. Soon. Very yep. soon. Canada uh, Day. Friday. Canada yep. Day. Canada exactly. Day. Saturday matinees, Saturday evenings. Uh, we'll have, uh, we're running from July 1st until October 1st. And uh, we're really excited. It's a great theater, great venue. We'll have uh, some new magic in the show uh, inspired by the house, but we'll also have the classics. Marion will be floating in the air and I'll be dividing her into two pieces. The Still audience trying to figure that there. out. Still trying to figure yeah. that out. Excellent. Yeah, keep you took trying, some amazing trying. pictures of yes, the show you when you were there. They were oh. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I was pictures. trying to thank figure you. those things out. It was an amazing show. But tell us about the concept of clockwork mysteries. Yes, well, time. We're celebrating time. And so we're celebrating specific moments in time. And also 
people's desire to travel back in time and change the past. I had I had this haircut in high school and I, I'm kind of embarrassed by it and I wish I could go back in time and change my haircut from high school days, but I can't. So we have a time machine in our show and Marion travels back in time to the 1960s in that piece. And when she returns to the present, uh, which usually happens, um, no, it always happens. It always happens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's wearing a costume from the 1960s. So she has a souvenir from, from the 60s. So it's not just about a person disappearing and reappearing, it's about traveling through time. That yeah. is more, I feel it has more meaning to people. We're telling stories with our illusions. It's not mm -hmm. just like a prop, look at this beautiful prop and this is what it does. We like to um, tell complete stories, uh, moments that maybe you can relate to. So like stuff like that. So hey, you get people, yeah, you get the audience involved too. You get them up on stage with you. Yes. One of our favorite pieces is a prediction of a time capsule. And so the audience decides what they want in their Smith's Falls time capsule. But uh, we already know. Mm -hmm. So we predicted what they are going to choose. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and then we go camping. That's We have a, a couple of kids from the audience up on stage and we go camping. We have a, a tent and some crazy things happen. Uh, I won't give it away, but... Um, I used to I used to love watching game shows, and so I impersonate a psychic game show host, which is which is fun and it's funny because I make it impossible for the spectator to win the fabulous prize. <laughs> don't oh, I don't want to give that away either. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, and I wear this mirror ball jacket that has six thousand mirrors on it, which is just ridiculous, over the top. And Marion created that. I made it. I make yeah. all the costumes in the show, and I myself have about twenty costume changes on and off stage. And uh, that mirror ball jacket, in particular, is almost thirty pounds. It is really heavy because it's real, true mirror. So Ted, it's a good workout. Mm -hmm. Well, as a fellow sewer, how did your needles go through that? <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. I, it's yeah. magic. Uh, yeah. Magic, magic, absolutely. Right. It's all magic. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Can you tell us about the Station Theater? Yes, it's an amazing building. I so there was this building boom in Smith Falls in uh, 1885, I guess. CP Rail was building a train line to Montreal and the train yards. So the station is beautiful. Built in, it was built in 1887. And but the story I love. It was. Uh, given to Dennis Staples, the former mayor, along with $50,000 to help turn it into a theater. And then all these amazing volunteers came together, turned it into a beautiful theater. When our lighting designer from the Cirque du Soleil visited Smith Falls to design the lighting for our show, he was blown away by this state-of-the-art intimate theater with seats from the National Arts Center and air conditioning and you know, luxurious place to see a show. Uh, so I find it just, it's magical that we moved to Smith Falls and we're performing our magic in this former CP Rail train station. Incredible. And all the people that came together to make it happen. It's just beautiful. And, and I, I grew up literally two blocks away from that train station. My mom wow. still lives there. My best wow. friend, her house was right next to the tracks. Her mom used to decorate uh, cakes, so all the cake pans were on the wall. So every time a train went by, by they rattle, rattle, rattle. And yeah. her dad worked over there, and he always worked nights, so we'd run his lunch over to him about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, lots of memories about being over there, and to see it transformed into what it is now. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I love the music of the trains at nighttime. Yes. And we yeah. were just at the... Uh, railway museum on the weekend and it is looking amazing over there the dining car and what they've done is just spectacular isn't and, that dining uh, car beautiful it's my favorite mm -hmm. car, my favorite yes. dining, favorite car over there yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, I was impressed by the dental car too. Like the first time I That's saw fun. that dental car, I was like, mm, yes. I don't know. I hope it's not moving at that time, you know, when they're working on things. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine back then you had to wait till the the the, the train came to be able to get your teeth looked at? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Well, here you are talking about the railway museum. Can you make any more suggestions of what else you can do while you're in Smith Falls? There is so much to do here. Yes. Great restaurants. Uh, yeah. The Vault, Rocky River, 
Uh, we love the the curry at Boomtown. Boomtown. Udea makes the best curry, and, and he also has this butter chicken pizza, which I love. Or uh, just butter chicken. It's yeah. also delicious. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. And then Marion and I are fans of, we have a snooker table in our basement, but we also like to go play pool over at Matty O'Shea's, and they have great food over there, too. Um, Sunday morning breakfast, the home fries at uh, perfect timing are, are great. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, every restaurant, it's a lot of fun here in Smith Falls, I yeah. find. It's yeah. also the diversity is fairly nice. And uh, I don't know where I'd be without Lisa and Heritage House Museum. They're, they help me with my research, and I love going over there because there's always new exhibits and amazing things that are happening. So they Well, know you know, they it's, it's again, once again, it's, it's so inspirational, inspirational to have you talk about our town like this because you've lived all over the world, literally. We have. We've yeah. traveled, you know, China, Europe. And in North America, we drive, we're driving in a truck. So we get to really feel each town where we play. And uh, we had, so this is a true story. We, mm -hmm. It was four years ago. We had just played Hollywood. We had headlined in Hollywood. We went to Vegas for a week. David Copperfield gave us complimentary tickets to see his show in the front row. And we were spending time with all our friends. and we had to move we we were selling our property in montreal so we were considering las vegas because real estate is affordable there's lots of magicians there yeah all our and, friends said come yeah. why don't you live here so i actually started googling yeah. townhouses and like you know gated yeah. communities are there so we were really like into yeah why don't we move to vegas and then yeah. on the drive back home after we left all our friends we were like what is it that we really want and we mm -hmm. were well, we both like Victorian homes. Well, we can't find those in Las Vegas. So, yeah. and, and then we just felt, but we love Canada. <laughs> yeah, so we thought, we, you know, we would move out of Montreal into Ontario, get a bit closer to Toronto, where we work quite a lot. And we started Googling. And then when we came to Smith Falls, it was all over. When we, we walked into this house and I had touched the molding uh, around the door to the dining room or the living room, and looked at the stained glass and it was just, it was done. We actually, there was one more thing. We had the house inspected and in the attic, mm -hmm. the inspector found a newspaper from the 1940s and the headline was Dance Little Ladies. So, and me being a dancer, right? It was just like the signs were just all there. It's like, come on, buy me, come on. What else do you need, you know? Yeah. So we were just so excited. We just loved this house. Oh, like, meant to be, it was meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. The house chose us. We had no choice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's <laughs> so. a good way of saying it. That, that that's perfect. That's perfect. Now let's let's tell the folks again about your shows. When where, where to get tickets? How to get tickets? And uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so Friday night, Saturday matinee, Saturday night. You can buy your tickets at Eventbrite. If you go online, at the you go to Eventbrite, or you can you can do uh, Outerbridge dot Eventbrite dot com. You can buy your tickets. It's really easy. Or if you want to go the old-fashioned route and dial a phone number, you can also do that. You can dial 613-430-4626. So 613-430-4626. Um, and uh, the awesome people at Heritage House Museum are answering that phone. And uh, you can get your tickets that way. Excellent, so. excellent. Well, I encourage everybody to get your tickets. You'll be very, very happy that you went and saw your show. I'll be going to see it again next year, this year. Uh, you always change it up a little bit too, so it's always something new to yeah. learn. So, well, new, absolutely, new stuff. And new stories. Excellent. The first, uh, the first year we did ten shows. Last summer we did thirty-two shows, and all our shows they always sell out. So, uh, don't don't wait till the very last minute. You want to get your ticket ahead of time because they they uh, usually sell out. Oh, and people travel to come and see you too. Yeah, they have. we have they a have, lot of people yeah, coming in from Ottawa and Kingston. We're Even very Toronto. Happy yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, and the U.S. Yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. So what, what's uh, what's up for the, the keyhole house? What have you, I know you looks like you're doing some masonry on the outside. You found anything? <laughs> um, no, no. The, we had the chimney rebuilt with reclaimed bricks from an old house uh, that belonged to... Uh, our friend Doug, 
Doug Phillips and Liz Phillips. So oh, yes, he was my history a... teacher. Oh, you'd like him. He's a history teacher. Yes. He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're pals. We have great conversations. So yes. Yes. the chimney's rebuilt. There's a really gorgeous chimney cap on top. It's like the Cadillac of chimney caps. Uh, right Way Welding created it for us. It's powder coated. It's just a work of art. And uh, they're just uh, working on the flashing right now. And then I'm going to make a new TikTok video about the chimney. So Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Wow, you'll probably get 3.9 million views from that one too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so, yeah. see, we'll see. See how popular chimneys are, yeah. And in case you want to check out our, our Ted's TikTok um, site, it's the Keyhole House. Just go mm -hmm. on TikTok and check out the Keyhole House and you find multiple videos. That's yeah. right, yeah, I, we should say that. You've got an Instagram account, you've got a Facebook account and you've got a website too. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today.